Hi everyone. So this is my introductory video on cat cur. Now before we start to talk about the different stories that she tells and before we start going over all the facts that she tells, I want to first give my own personal opinion of what I think is going on here. Now please keep in mind I am not diagnosing anyone, okay? I'm just giving my opinion of what I think may be going on. So here we go. Either Kat Kerr has schizophrenia and she hallucinates and she is believing those hallucinations, which highly concerns me because if she is schizophrenic and unmedicated, she could be a danger to herself or to others. And I don't know where her family is I don't know if her family agrees with everything she says or if they actually do disagree with what she says. I don't know because I don't know who her family is or where they live or anything about them. Either it's she has the schizophrenia and she's having hallucinations and she actually believes them or, or she does not believe in heaven at all and does not believe in God at all. Uh, and she believes these are fairy tales that only the gullible believe. So she's playing on people's gullibility and naivety. She's playing on that and uh, she's getting a kick out of that and trying to get money out of people okay so she doesn't believe in heaven herself doesn't believe in god herself uh and is telling these stories to people because she thinks they're gullible and they're naive and she's laughing about it all the way to the bank okay or or number three she's an extreme narcissist to a very high level and she must feel special and important in her life in order to feel good about herself. So she's telling these stories to people so that they will, number one, treat her really good. Because after all, who would treat someone bad if they thought they were close to God? You know, so she could be an extreme narcissist who... Uh, wants people to think she is special and close to God so that she gets treated the way she wants to be treated and also, of course, looked up to very highly. Uh, and that's how extreme narcissists are, okay? So it could be that. It could be or, or... It could be that she is being controlled by a very high-powered demon, and she is the one that is naive and gullible. And she has fallen prey to this demon who is showing her stuff and giving her out-of-body out of experiences and showing her things. And she really believes that it's coming from God. Okay, and she's the one deceived. It's got to be one of these scenarios, you guys, because if you really listen to what she says, some of her stories are absolutely off the wall, ridiculous. No one would believe them in the right mind, like if they have any intelligence. So that said, um, I do not know which scenario it is with Kat Kerr. Uh, I believe it's one of those scenarios. She is either honestly schizophrenic and has hallucinations and believes them or number two you know she's being controlled by a very high-ranking demon and it's her that is deceived number three she's an extreme narcissist and needs to feel special and important and treated a certain way number four she um is doing this all on purpose because she thinks that naive and gullible people are funny and she's laughing all the way to the bank because she wants the money and the maybe even the fame okay so um it could be a combination of everything 
anyway, it's got to be one of these things. So let's just get started. Um, I had watched one of her videos, and it was called, um, I took some notes, it was called Heaven is Real, Kat Kerr uh, Revealing an Eyewitness Account. This is the video that I took this particular information from. Um, I will be watching her future videos and picking them and pulling them apart as well. Um, what really stood out about this particular video, and if you type in her name in Google and go to her site, you'll find this video. It's called Heaven is Real Revealing an Eyewitness Account, okay? The first thing she claims is that Jesus walked into her house, okay? And here's the thing, you guys. Uh, what does the Bible say about familiar spirits? We're to have nothing to do with familiar spirits. So if Jesus is up and walking into your house, you have a problem, okay? Some high-ranking demon is having a field day with you, or you're mentally ill, you need to get evaluated if Jesus is up and walking into your house, okay? I'm just saying. <laughs> um, so she claims to have all of these out-of-body experiences in which she is taken to heaven however the new age okay the new age movement there are in the new age movement there are many people who claim to have out-of-body experiences okay so how are we to know that her out-of-body experiences are from god we don't that's the point they could be from satan himself Okay, because there, how many people are in the New Age movement who claim to have out-of-body experiences all the time? Um, she says that, this is a big one that she likes to say. She says that God told her to color her hair pink. Really? Come on, you guys. Why would God, okay, tell anyone to color their hair rainbow colors? Come on, you guys. Do you really believe that? I mean, maybe I just need to get on the camera and ask you guys, do you really believe this stuff? Seriously, you think God would ask somebody to do that? Think about it. I mean, most people that I know who have colored their hair rainbow colors are not even saved. Okay, they're having what's called identity issues and they're trying, new, trying different things with themselves because they're not happy with themselves okay that's why they feel they have to put all these colors in their hair they're having insecurity issues okay god is not going to ask you to color your hair to follow him he's not going to ask that okay and god loves us just the way we are he's not going to ask us to change okay and um yeah so I think that's most of the notes I took on this video. Another thing I wanted to bring up is this house cleaning story that she mentions on this video. She basically gets on the video and she says that she has been asked to clean a house for someone. Uh, something about a funeral, something about, you know, this these older people needed their house clean. So her and her mother uh, agreed to go and clean these old folks house for them. They basically were in need and uh, need of someone to come and clean their home. So her and her mother went. Well, basically, she says in this video that she's dusting the fireplace mantle. And all of a sudden, God just comes to her and takes her out of her body up to heaven, like she says he frequently does, and starts telling her information about the particular family that she's cleaning for. Basically, the granddaughter was killed and... Um, this was her grandparents that they were cleaning the house for. And so Kat asked permission to get the uh, little granddaughter's mother's number, meets her at a mall, and starts telling her all this stuff about her daughter. Now, stuff that she's experiencing up in heaven, and her mother gets all emotional. She believes Kat Kerr. She's breaking down. She's crying. She's believing all this stuff that she's telling her. Here's the thing, you guys. Witches can do that, okay? Psychics can do that, all right? How many psychic advisors in the New Age movement are able 
to bring up information about your family. And where do you think they get it from? They get it from straight from Satan. They get it straight from Lucifer. So just because she's able to bring up these details about this person's family does not mean that she is being used of God to tell that family anything. This stuff could be coming from the other place. I mean, how many psychics get it right? How many psychic advisors, how many psychics do people go to to get answers about their life and they get stuff right and they guess stuff that's correct about people's lives? That's because they're getting that from the devil. Okay, so uh, we are going to go in depth, more in depth about um, some of the things that Kat Kerr says. We're going to make several weeks of it, so I'm going to be watching a lot of the pink-haired lady over the next several weeks, and we're going to pick apart what she says biblically and show you how she, in there's no way that she has been called of God to do this. And basically by saying that she is so close and friendly with God that she's constantly up in heaven with him, she's saying she's better than Moses. I mean, she's basically saying she's better than Moses because Moses is the only one that was ever that close to God. Enoch and Elijah, I mean, yeah, like, what is so special about this particular lady that God would use her in this kind of a manner? Okay, and she says it's because she didn't, that she was so willing and that she didn't uh, refuse well, how many of us will be willing and not refuse if God decided to take us on trips to heaven? Think about it, you guys. None of us would refuse that. And there are many of us, okay, who have a good enough relationship with God that he could use a lot of us. I mean, so it makes you wonder, like, why does she think she is so special? What makes her so important and special? Okay, so think about it, and uh, I will see you all guys, all you guys, <laughs> on the next video. Okay, everyone have a good night.